Hello, beautiful, beautiful soul. I hope this is a wonderful, wonderful day. And what we are going to talk about will hopefully make it more wonderful. I put the message in there, don't listen to your doctor. Typically, we always say, listen to your doctor, listen to your doctor. I'm going to say, don't listen to everything that your doctor says. Just like I would say, don't listen to everything that other people say about you, your life, or what's possible in life. But let me explain why, specifically with the doctors, with a story. There was a Jewish Orthodox family that I used to go to for the Sabbath. And when the family was gathering together for a meal or a group function, they would bring great-grandma into the living room and dining room with us. Great-grandma was what a lot of people would call a vegetable. She was hooked up to machines and not interactive with the people around her. Her family said that, because they know her more closely, that there was a tiny bit of communication happening there. But they were very clear that when there was something going on, they would bring her in the presence of everyone. Now, this is a family that had 12 kids, and they were starting to have the great grandkids after those 12 kids. So there was a lot going on in this home. And if this great grandma sitting in her chair had an awareness of what was going on, she was probably filled with a lot of warmth from so many wonderful people around her. And as we were talking about great grandma one day, they said that, you know, the doctor said that we should just let her go. But according to the standard Jewish law, doctors and humans are not really supposed to decide when somebody dies. So what they said was me is that, to me is that doctors are meant to help heal people not say when they are going to die. So now you get the idea of the main thing I tell you not to listen to from your doctor. If you get a permanent prognosis or if you are pronounced to have a minimal time to live, to know that fatal pronouncements do not have to be your fate. But here's also why because I've been seeing probably 150 stories at this point of people who healed beyond what the doctor's diagnosis was. So some of these stories are going into my book. There's also a statistic that over 100,000 people a year die from medicine. I've actually seen another study in 2012 that had over 700,000 people. And when you read the study on it, it also says that these were not medical errors. Yes, doctors do make mistakes at some times. <coughs> and that's why you don't necessarily want to listen all of the time. I'll just take a sip of water. But also because there is the chance that with science, when science comes from research, and it comes from the mind, and as science continues to evolve and change as we learn more, that science is not always 100%. The other thing that happens with science is that sometimes research is funded by the very people who profit off of the results depending on the direction that the results go. Which then means that sometimes the results are somehow swayed to be in favor of those people. And when not in favor, the research is thrown away. What I did read one time was that some of that information then from those types of studies is put into the medical book of doctors. So you can take your judgments of that, uh, but also from another understanding, from many of the doctors I've been talking to, one of the things that they say about 
the medicine that we use in the Western world, a lot of it is meant to help treat symptoms, to make us feel better, to help us live longer. In a lot of situations, that is extremely, extremely important. What it doesn't do is strengthen the body or heal the original issue. So something else needs to come into play to help actually heal that. And that's where we get into the holistic medicine, that's when we get into the natural things. I, so not to say don't always don't take the medicine, because some of the medicine is helpful, but also do the other things on side. And many doctors today are still not letting people know of what those are. Nutrition is not actually part of the education for doctors, believe it or not, which as we've been seeing, it's incredibly, incredibly healing. So hopefully this gives you some ideas, not to shock you, but just to say, why do we not always want to listen to the doctor? There's a lot of ideas out there, and we want to pick the one that is going to be most supportive of ourselves. We want to believe that a miracle could happen for ourselves. Once you read my book, though, you'll see that those are not miracles, that those are real things that can happen. And if you want to start reading some of the book, you actually can right away by going to healinghappensbook.com. When you sign up for the newsletter, then you'll get a free section of the book. If you want more than that, and fairly quickly, you can get a whole chapter by donating to my GoFundMe campaign. So that's at www.gofundme.com slash healing-happens-book. You can also find it all over my Facebook wall. There's a special gift that I'm offering for people who donate $25 or more to the GoFundMe campaign. By the end of this month, they'll be entered into a drawing to win a free mandala spiritual reading with Mamie Lamley. She is one of the people in the book. She healed from being told that she would not have any kids. She had three. She then had everything in there removed that could get, physically give you kids because she had cervical cancer and had a number of surgeries. In the process of that, she healed her spirit through working with mandalas. She also discovered that she has this amazing gift of reading other people's mandala drawings to give them a greater understanding of themselves, to give them healing, and to give them just this nice, soothing, calming feeling. And there's 25 winners that can actually get this. There's a lot of people who can get this. But I'll do a drawing because we'll probably get more than 25 people donating. You can check that out. GoFundMe.com forward slash healing dash happens dash book. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Please like this if this was helpful. Share your thoughts below and share this with other people so that we can all as a society break through to a greater intelligence that can help us live our lives out to the fullest. Bye-bye.